Hello and a very warm welcome to today's session brought to you by Team Textbook Super Coaching. I hope all of you are doing really well. देरी नहीं करते हुए फटाफट से आज के इस सेशन को स्टार्ट करते हैं। अभी-अभी हम लोगों ने मास्टर क्लास अटेंड किया था and was really nice and promising to see a lot of you. I think I would like to appreciate one or two of you who are doing really well both in the classroom program as well as in your master classes also. So that is really good, good job done. These kind of consistent uh, baby steps, just like Wordsworth कहते हैं ना, little acts of kindness. Similarly, little lacks or small little victories on a daily basis show that you are being very consistent and this is a sign of good regularity which translates into better success overall theek okay? hai good evening good evening uh, good evening devashish gayatri simar wilfran okay yes please like and share yashika zamar neha yashika very good good job done yashika has been the star for today excellent impeccable at sectional overview ke andar bhi hum logo ne jo do parts revise kare she was spot on there every answer she knew already very good good job done she was also part the leader board aaj deri nahi karte hue hum log uh, panch european writers mein se do important european writers gidi mopasan george orwell anton chekhov also briefly and gm shrinch in writers ko thoda sa dekhenge and kal ki class mein dobara se aur detail mein discuss karenge good evening neha shubhi but before that we have a couple of ice breaking questions for all of you uh, i hope aap log achhi tarah se master class mein jo seven questions maine homework ke liye diye hain unko aap kal tak cover kar lenge theek hai Okay, this is of course the leaderboard that we are having, right? This is the leaderboard that we have for today. So good job done with the uh, with the leaderboard. Uh, we have Diksha, we have K Guy Three, we have Naina, we have Yashika. Yashika, excellent job done. Yashika performed, and even Naina performed very well in the sectional test as well. Guy Three is always very consistent. Diksha is also really good. Pooja Vasudeva, good good new child on the blog. Neha Singh, Sujit Kumar, Nikhil Kumar, Pooja Yadav, Sanchari. everybody good job done um, i will also hide myself so that you are able to see you know the overall leaderboard for today today's master class ye aaj ki master class ka hai seven uh, jo questions hai please ensure kijiyega right that you are able to cover good evening sujeet you are on the leaderboard so many congratulations for that okay chaliye let's quickly get started with the icebreaker question which novel has a nameless narrator in which novel are we able to see a nameless narrator and the tip of the day is that this entire week please ensure that you know your oxford companions are definitely with you let's just quickly answer this question correctly jaldi se bataiye All right. What becomes the correct answer? What becomes the right answer? No, Prajita. Grapes of Wrath, rather, is not the correct answer. Which is having a nameless narrator. I hope you all have read the book. We have read the book. Tennessee Williams' The Glass Menagerie, right? When you were looking at, of course, uh, Streetcar Named Desire. So all of those works of Tennessee Williams. Tennessee Williams' The Glass Menagerie. We have said Tom's point of view has been told. This is what we were discussing in the foundation batch. Similarly, what you have to remember over here is that when we are looking at this particular work, this particular work. presents that how you are able to see that the invisible man's writer ralph phillison is the one who is actually your nameless writer right ralph phillison becomes the nameless writer that we are having so we'll have to keep that in mind uh, and please remember that moving on to the next question so invisible man or jaise aap dekhte hain please try and make sure that you know you have those brief crisp notes also so let's quickly look at the next question that we are having the next question comes your way let's quickly see how many of you are able to get this right what becomes the right answer
Yes, yes, yes. So, hurry, question ka, make sure kijega that you also have certain pointers uh, written with you. This is exactly what I was telling uh, in the master class also. That you have to write brief notes, chahi, separate notebook, mein aap likhna chahi, ya on uh, you know, placards. It's completely up to you. That is something that you can look at. Okay. This is Sino Kesi again, plow and the star. Sino Kesi is the right answer over here. So, when we are looking at your Irish writers, all of these are, of course, very important. Your Irish literature overall becomes really important because Irish literature mein kya dekh pa rahe hai? that this is the literature of uh, resistance this is a literature which wants to assert its own uh, identity overall so plow and the stars plow and the stars he kisne likha hai sino kaisi ne likha hai plow and the stars kiska work hai sino kaisi ka work hai jm shrinj aaj ek writer bhi hai jo hum european literature ke andar cover karenge so please make your roadmap properly and cover all of these european writers as well okay victorian compromise maine aaj master class ke andar hi i had told you remember when we were looking at elizabeth gaskill's works and the subtitle master class pe maine aapko bataya tha who is giving the concept of victorian compromise victorian compromise is, is an expression first used by victorian compromise is an expression first used by is an expression first used by who am i talking about very good aprajita very good gayatri jk chesterton is the right answer okay jk chesterton fatima you have to visit the application our app pe you can find the link to the master class okay you can also alternatively on the nisha on test book we also share the link of joining the master class so you can actually join the anxiety of influence the theory of poetry is written by the anxiety of influence the theory of poetry is written by ye kaun likh raha hai anxiety of influence anxiety of influence theory of poetry which writer is writing this particular work who's the writer who's written this particular work very important work this is coming from the pen of which writer which writer is writing this entire work excellent harold bloom is the right answer okay so here what are we able to see we are able to see anxiety of influence ye pura ka pura jo concept hai ye harold bloom hame de rahe hain harold bloom is actually trying to tell you about you know a revisionary form of criticism that he is trying to uh, build forward all together so what are we able to see that harold bloom is the person harold bloom is the person who is writing the थ्योरी द एनजाइटी ऑफ इन्फ्लुएंस थ्योरी ऑफ पोइट्री थ्योरी ऑफ पोइट्री इसका सब टाइटल भी याद रखेगा जैसे आज कर्ट वॉनगर्ट के वर्क लॉर्ड हाउस फाइव का सब टाइटल भी वो लुकिंग एट या फिर अभी भी वी वो लुकिंग एट सब टाइटल वर्क सो जस्ट रिमेंबर दैट वेरी सिंपल द ईगोइस्ट इज रिटन बाई द ईगोइस्ट इज रिटन बाई Who's the writer who's written the egoist? Who's the writer who's written the egoist? The egoist is a work written by. The egoist is a work written by. Egoist किसने लिखा है ये क्वेश्चन आपके आएंगे ही नाइनटीन सेंचुरी नॉवल्स के कितने टाइप्स हैं बहुत सारे टाइप्स हैं जैसे आपका सिल्वर फोक नॉवल्स ठीक है आपका पैलियसर नॉवल्स पैलियसर नॉवल्स भी आ जाते हैं right you are also paliasser novels are your political novels that you are able to see so your silver folk novels paliasser novels your uh, so called novels which are telling you about women then workers related novel chartist movements se jo novels aapke deal kar rahe hain right even uh, for that matter middle march by george eliot is an example that you are able to see you are also able to look at that how you have uh, a protest literature that is rising all together women's writings are increasing so 19th century novel bahut hi zyada huge uh, parameter rakhta hai iske upar ek choti si video bhi we have made it which will come live very soon and the egoist is written by meredith george meredith ode on the spring ye kisne likha hai ode on the spring who's the writer writing ode on the spring Ode on the spring किसने लिखा है Who's the writer writing Ode on the spring? Ode on the spring is the work by which writer? Ode on the spring is the work written uh, written by which writer? Which writer are we talking about? Ode on the spring. Ode on the spring. Very good. Gray is the right answer. Very good. Very good. Gray is the right answer. Thomas Gray is the right answer. Ode on the spring. Okay. The page is printed. This is the last line in the poem by. The page is printed. This is the last line 
So the page is printed. The page is printed. Where are you able to see? These are the last lines that are, that is coming. In which work are we talking about? In which work are we talking about? Who's the writer that you're able to see? Who's the writer that you're able to see? Jaldi se bataiye. The page is printed. The page is print printed. Very good. Nikhil, Nikhil Demon has got the right answer, right? So when we are talking about Ted Hughes, Ted Hughes is coming the Thought Fox. The Thought Fox is a work written by Ted Hughes, the same person who's a, you know, his second wife was Sylvia Plath and she committed suicide also in 1930 to 1998. So when we talk about the Thought Fox, the Thought Fox, which is under this work. So the Thought Fox, the Thought Fox, the Thought Fox, ke andar, we are able to see that this particular line is coming, Ted Hughes. Ka, the page is printed. The page is printed. Try reading the entire poem. It's a very simple poem altogether that you're able to see. I imagine this Midnight's Moments Forest. Something else is alive. You can just read the entire essential poem all together. Okay? So please keep that in mind and uh, do remember, you know, to cover this entire aspect. The book, The Religion of Man is written by The Religion of Man. Who's writing The Religion of Man? The Religion of Man is a work written by Who's writing The Religion of Man? Who's the writer writing? Very good, Wilfred. Who's the writer writing The so here, when we are looking at the work called, you know, this is this entire work that is coming uh, from the pen. Who's the writer who's writing The Religion of Man? Which writer are we talking about? The Religion of Man. The Religion of Man. The Religion of Man. When we are looking at The Religion of Man, please remember, this is a book by Rabindranath Tagore. Tagore is the person who's actually writing this. Yeah, that's what we saw last week, development of novel, dekha tha, two parts. Ke andar. So this is exactly what we were talking about, ki kaise Toru Dutt ka bayan ka, Travels of Dean Muhammad, phir Toru Dutt ka bayan ka, phir aapka Rajmohan's wife, uh, by Bankim Chandra Chatterjee. Tagore was also a writer that we talked about, right? So, Religion of Man, this is a work by Tagore. Tagore is trying to talk about it, okay? And uh, he's viewing his, his entire uh, understanding of Origin of Man, Cosmos, ye sara kuch jo hai. Tagore actually does that. In the poem Wind Hoover, Hopkins is using which meet which rhyme? In Wind Hoover, what is Hopkins using? In Wind Hoover, what is Hopkins using? Hopkins is again very important. So Wind Hoover, what is Hopkins using? In Wind Hoover, he's using the split rhyme. Okay? He's using the split rhyme. Good job done, Ravi. Ravi got it right. Uh, uh, Ravi, only I could see first getting it right. Split rhyme, okay? Wind Hoover. Hopkins ka waise bhi kar liye chika because you know, Gerard Manley Hopkins jo aapke poore ke poore as a poet hai. Uh, so when we are looking at your poetry of Victorian age, it's just not Tennyson and Browning jo aapke syllabus mein aate hai, but it is also Samuel Rogers, right? Sometimes who comes in Samuel Rogers. The person who was supposed to be appointed as the poet laureate in 1850 after William Wordsworth. Before William Wordsworth, Robert Southey. After William Wordsworth, he was supposed to be appointed. There were also people thinking, ke, you know, how Elizabeth Barry, uh, Barry Browning will get it. But finally, Tennyson got it in 1850 altogether. So, these sari sari poets have to know that split rhyme is being used. Which of Dickens' novels attacks the new poor law of 1834 in the opening chapters itself? The new poor law. The new poor law. I think abhi abhi ham logon ne nahi abhi nahi kya tha. Right. The new poor law. Abhi wala kuch aur question tha. The new poor law. The new poor law. What is the right answer? The new poor law. The new poor law. No, 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 no. New poor law. New poor law. Oliver Twist. Okay. Oliver Twist, which is telling you about that is like, you know, the one which is actually attacking the new poor law. Throw thy, throw away thy rod, throw away thy wrath. Oh my God. Take the gentle path. These lines are taken from a poem by. Throw away thy rod, throw away thy wrath. My God. Take the gentle path. These lines are taken from a poem by. These lines are taken from a poem by. These lines are taken from a poem by.
absolutely right george herbert is the right answer george herbert is absolutely the correct answer over here okay so again aapne jaise dekha hai that you know uh, kaise how we were able to see the ted hughes ke poems so again all of these uh, titles also the famous lines of poems so even if you've read a little bit you actually get to know about all of these so thoda sa ye aapko yaad rakhna hai theek hai thoda sa you'll have to keep that in mind this is a poem called discipline by herbert right that we are able to see so discipline ke andar george herbert is actually writing this a beautiful poem again very very popular in famous lines that you're able to see right that comes in over here all together so discipline is the poem that you are able to look at theek okay? hai discipline is the poem that you are able to look at so discipline poem ke andar se it's actually associated with the metaphysical school of poetry 17th century poetry hum log ne 17th century ko youtube ke classes mein bhi abhi dekha tha kuch hi din pehle when we said the three johns are coming remember i told you about the three johns who were the three johns that we talked about dryden dun as well as मिल्टन राइट द थ्री जॉन्स ऑफ द सेवनटीन सेंचुरी तो ऑफकोर्स डन से एसोसिएटेड मेटाफिजिकल पोइट्री है एंड डिसिप्लिन के अंदर वी आर एबल टू सी राइट डिसिप्लिन के अंदर वी आर एबल टू सी दैट दिस एंटायर थिंग इज कमिंग दैट दैट इज कमिंग योर वे ओवरऑल सो प्लीज रिमेंबर दीज लाइन आर टेकन फ्रॉम हर्बर्ट्स वर्क एंड वॉट इज द नेम ऑफ द वर्क डिसिप्लिन इज द नेम ऑफ द वर्क डिसिप्लिन इज द नेम ऑफ द वर्क विच कस्टन राइटर्स एपिटाफ रीड्स वन हु स्ट्रो विद ऑल हिज माई टू चैम्पियन लिबर्टी to champion liberty to champion liberty fatima keats a uh, 17th century mein nahi aa raha hai theek hai to hum logo ne we had talked about the three johns of the 17th century okay so please remember that guys so just make sure that every day you are taking uh, daily content in terms of aap pura ka pura ek bar syllabus dekhiye ki kya kya cheeze aapne nahi cover kari hai from british american european african post colonial diasporic just see uh, and even hamara jo course outline hai usko bhi aap le sakte hain as a way to figure out how you can start your preparation okay all right let's see how many of you are uh, able to cover this diksha uh, the best way to cover it is going over your tales of shakespeare by Charles and Mary Lamb. That's one of the best ways to cover Shakespeare at the basic level. Then take it to the next level, the criticism on Shakespeare, right? That is the most important. Those are the two important things that you have to remember. Jonathan Swift is the right answer. Uh, Jonathan Swift is the right answer over here. In which of the following uh, novels incidents relating to declaration of emergency in India in nineteen seventy five figure? कहाँ पर? Where are we able to see? कहाँ पर? Where are we able to see? Where are we able to see? Where are we able to look at? Where are we able to see? Declaration of emergency in India, nineteen seventy-five figure. Declaration of emergency that we are talking about. Where are they figuring all or all, all together? No, 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 no. This is such a long journey by Rohintan Mistri. Such a long journey. Ah, uh, Upanishad Chatterjee, nahi hai. Upanishad Chatterjee, nahi hai. Declaration of emergency. Upanishad Chatterjee ka English ah, uh, obviously, some people have heard it. Tale of Augusta. What did we talk about? What did we discuss about it? We had talked about a different story. Please, just keep in mind. Car. The rest of the works, Faruk Dundi's Bombay Dark, Vikram Seth's Suitable Boy. These are all very important. Correlated properly. The future ruin of Troy and the murder of Agamemnon are referred to by William Butler Yeats in which work? In which work is William Butler Yeats referring to this? In which work are we able to see that Yeats is referring to this? In which work are we able to see that Yeats is actually talking about this? In which work may Yeats is talking about this? In which work may you are able to see that Yeats is actually telling you about it? It's called the it's called the second coming, right? What is it called? The second coming. Right, the second coming is the right answer. Inscape, and today we talked about Hopkins. So again, inscape. When we are looking at Hopkins, को अच्छी तरह से एक बार कर लीजिएगा, right? Cover your Hopkins properly. So what is the correct answer over here? When we are looking at inscape, what is the correct answer over here? Hopkins is another important topic, right? Hopkins becomes of course important. Right. Absolutely right. Uh, so I, I see a lot of you. I just saw Neha Singh giving the right answer. The individuating character of a natural thing that you are able to look at. Okay, Hopkins. Ka, we will be talking about inscape and instress. Right. This is of course important. We also looked at how Windhu was written in split rhyme. 
ये दोनों पॉइंटर्स थोड़े से याद रखिएगा बट आई विल देर इज एन अदर थिंग विच इज गोइंग टू बी हेल्पिंग यू आउट विद दिस द मेन कैरेक्टर इन गोगोल्स डेड सोल्स डेड सोल्स के अंदर हु इज द मेन कैरेक्टर हु इज द मेन कैरेक्टर इन डेड सोल्स हु इज द मेन कैरेक्टर दैट यू आर एबल टू सी इन डेड सोल्स दिस इज अ वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन डेड सोल के अंदर हु इज द कैरेक्टर चिचिको वेरी गुड दीक्षा चिचिको इज द राइट आंसर राइट सो चिचिको इज द राइट आंसर in which of these place does edward albi use the success myth he is using the success myth in which work is he using the success myth kaun se work mein edward albi the writer of the zoo story who is afraid of virginia wool in which work is he actually using the success myth uh yes uh, here who is sujeet has got it right the american dream is absolutely the right answer the american dream is absolutely the right answer the voice of poetry comes from the region above us a plane of our being above and beyond our personal intelligence who among the following author is the author of the above lines who's 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 the author of the above lines? What is the correct answer, everybody? Absolutely right. Absolutely right. Ravi Pandey. Absolutely correct. Sri Aurobindo is the right answer. Sri Aurobindo is the right answer. Take care. Sri Aurobindo is the right answer. So again, what are we able to see that many a times when these kind of questions are coming in, you need to know not just the poems, जहाँ पर आपकी lines आ रही हैं, but also you know some of these essays that are there and how these essays are actually uh, trying to present overall all the things. So इसको please थोड़ा सा याद रखिएगा. All right, we are able to see that Sri Aurobindo when he when we are able to see a, a study of Savitri. three and other poems ke preface may be and otherwise also he is actually writing all of these words that you are able to look at okay so here you will have to keep this in mind that how she or windows the writer who's writing it okay moving on the expression that hand great anarka uh, occurs in a satire of bai where are we able to see this these lines that that hand great anarka Thy hand, great anarch, very famous. The, thy hand, great anarch. Where are we able to see these lines? Thy hand, great anarch. कि कहाँ पर हमें we are able to see this? Where are we able to see these lines? Where are we able to look at these lines? Right, the great. So where are we able to look at it? So ये concluding couplet था the dancer का, ठीक है? ये concluding couplet था the dancer का और ये निराट सी चाउद्री ने भी, निराट सी चाउद्री ने भी इसके ऊपर एक बुक लिखी है दाय हैंड ग्रेट अनार्क तभी ये क्वेश्चन आपका आता है निराट सी चौधरी ने ये बुक लिखी थी दाय हैंड ग्रेट अनार्क दाय हैंड ग्रेट अनार्क ये जो वर्क है ये किसने लिखा था ये निराट सी चौधरी राइट निराट सी चौधरी वॉज द पर्सन वॉज एक्चुअली राइटिंग इट और ये कहाँ से निराट सी चौधरी वॉज गेटिंग इंस्पायर्ड एलेक्सेंडर पोप का डनसियड से डनसियड का कंक्लूडिंग कपलेट था उसका कंक्लूडिंग कपलेट था दाय हैंड ग्रेट अनार्क दाय हैंड and great anarch so please remember that the author was satire against reason and mankind a satire against reason and mankind who's writing a satire against reason and mankind who's writing the satire against reason and mankind who's writing this particular work a satire against reason and mankind who's the writer writing it yes yes that's right who's the writer who's writing this particular work Who's the writer who's writing this particular work? What is the correct answer over here? What is the correct answer over here? What is the correct answer that you are able to see? So this is the second Earl of Rochester. ठीक है, this is the second very good दीक्षा. This is the second Earl of Rochester. So Diary Against Reason and Mankind. ये आपका John Wilmot ने लिखा है, ठीक है? ये किसने लिखा है? This is written by John Wilmot. John Wilmot. Who was John Wilmot? John Wilmot कौन थे? He was the second Earl of Rochester. Second Earl of Rochester. He was the second Earl of Rochester. That was John Wilmot. That was John Wilmot. So John Wilmot is writing this particular work, A Satire Against Reason and Mankind. Uh, this is the satirical poem that you are able to see. So please keep that in mind. Uh, first Earl of Rochester कौन था? Henry Wilmot. Second Earl of Rochester कौन था? John Wilmot. He is the one who is writing this particular work. Okay. So please keep that in mind. He is a very important writer of the Uh, the Puritan, uh, sorry, not the Puritan, the Restoration period altogether that you are able to see. All right, so uh, please remember this. The praise of chimney sweepers. The praise of chimney sweepers. 
द प्रीस ऑफ चिमनी स्वीपर्स द प्रीस ऑफ चिमनी स्वीपर्स ये कौन लिख रहा है द प्रीस ऑफ चिमनी स्वीपर्स द प्रीस ऑफ चिमनी स्वीपर्स दिस इज वेरी सिंपल वॉट इज द करेक्ट आंसर द प्रीस ऑफ चिमनी स्वीपर्स ये तो सही आना चाहिए दीक्षा एंड देवशीष ऑफ गॉट इट राइट दिस इज एन एस ए बाय चार्ल्स लैम दिस इज एन एस ए बाय चार्ल्स लैम थिंक वन ऑफ यू वॉज आस्किंग राइट वॉट इज द बेस्ट वे टू एक्चुअली कवर शेक्सपियर टेल सो फर्स्ट कस्टरी लुक के लिए योर सो कॉल्ड टेल्स ऑफ शेक्सपियर बाय uh both charles and mary lamb that's good the loneliness of a long distance runner 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 what is the correct answer the loneliness of a long distance runner the loneliness of a long distance runner what is the correct answer the loneliness of a long distance runner loneliness of a long distance runner alan silito okay alan silito in black venus angela carter takes elements from poetry of a famous french poet and places them in very different paradigm who's the french poet that we are talking about who's the french poet that we're talking about the first european writer today is also a french short story writer for the father of modern short story in a way right this is uh, what we are actually trying to talk about what is the correct answer over here बॉदलेर वेरी गुड बॉदलेर ए मैं काफी सारे बच्चों का देख पा रही हूँ बॉदलेर इज द राइट आंसर बॉदलेर इज द राइट आंसर स्ट्रोफी एंटीस्ट्रोफी एंड ईपोर्ड फॉर्म थ्री पार्ट स्ट्रक्चर इन दे फॉर्म थ्री पार्ट स्ट्रक्चर इन दे आर फॉर्मिंग थ्री पार्ट स्ट्रक्चर वेर वेर आर दे फॉर्मिंग द थ्री पार्ट स्ट्रक्चर तो स्ट्रोफी एंटीस्ट्रोफी एंड ईपोर्ड थ्री पार्ट स्ट्रक्चर कहाँ पे फॉर्म हो रहा है right classical ode right e pod right so e pod antistrophe strophe classical ode it appears that in paradise lost book 1 milton belongs to the devil's party without knowing it who among the following made this statement who made this statement milton was of devil's party without knowing it who was making this milton was of the devil's party without knowing it milton was of the devil's party william blake theek okay? hai so marriage of heaven and hell also is written by him live like pigs is a work by live like pigs live like pigs live like pigs he kon likh raha hai who's the writer writing live like pigs so when you're talking about live like pigs who's the writer who's associated with live like pigs so live like pigs is written by live like pigs is written by live like pigs was set in and where is it's, it's written by which writer live like pigs live like pigs Absolutely right. This is a play by Arden. Okay, this is a play by Arden. This is a play by Arden. Live like pigs that you are able to see. This is a play by Arden. Okay, this is a play that is written from the pen of Arden. So again, when we are looking at your twentieth century drama, John Arden is an important writer. Fine. So what are we able to look at? You are able to see that John Arden is coming in. John Arden is the writer who is writing this particular work, Live Like Pigs, all together. Okay, and uh, you know this was set in the housing. स्टेट ओवरऑल इनका सर्जन मास्क्रेव डांस सर्जन मास्क्रेव डांस भी आपका एग्जाम में क्वेश्चन पूछा जा चुका है सो यू बेटर कीप दैट इन माइंड एज वेल ओके सो लिव लाइक पिग्स दिस इज अ प्ले बाय जॉन आर्डन जॉन आर्डन इज राइटिंग दिस अ वुमन थ्रो हर लॉन्ग ब्लैक हेयर आउट टाइट एंड पिडल्ड विस्प म्यूजिक ऑन दो स्ट्रिंग्स फ्रॉम विच सेक्शन ऑफ इलियट्स द वेस्ट लैंड द बब लाइन टेक इन तो आपने देखा होगा दो तीन क्वेश्चन हम लोगों ने इस तरह से कर लिए हैं ऑटोमेटिकली राइट सो वेर आर दीज लाइन्स कमिंग फ्रॉम वेर आर दीज लाइन्स कमिंग फ्रॉम वेर आर दीज लाइन्स कमिंग इन फ्रॉम या 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 दीक्षा यस 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 दैट्स ट्रू दैट्स ट्रू एनिमल फार्म में यही होता है व्हाट द थंडर सेड व्हाट द थंडर सेड व्हाट द थंडर सेड ओके व्हाट द थंडर सेड ओवर हियर दिस इज व्हाट यू हैव टू रिमेंबर म्यूजिक दैट जेंटलर ऑन द स्पिरिट लाइज टायर्ड आईलेट्स अपॉन टायर्ड आईज द अबव लाइंस आर कॉल्ड वेयर वेयर आर यू एबल टू सी द अबव लाइंस वेयर आर वी एबल टू सी द अबव लाइंस वेयर आर वी एबल टू सी द अबव लाइंस तो थोड़ा हेडनिज्म के ऊपर जैसे यू आर इन अ ड्रग इंड्यूस्ड स्टेट ऑल टूगेदर यू आर नॉट एबल टू डू एनी थिंग इट इज नॉन अदर दैन द लोटस ईटर्स ठीक है इट इज नॉन अदर दैन द लोटस ईटर्स दैट इज कमिंग ओके दैन इज इट्स पोएम अबाउट वुमेन्स राइट एंड वुमेन्स फियर वुमेन्स राइट्स एंड वुमेन्स फियर वुमेन्स राइट्स एंड वुमेन्स फियर्स ये तो ज्यादा टाइम नहीं लगना चाहिए 
women's rights so jeet has got it right the princess is the right answer women's rights in women's sphere women's rights in women's spheres that's absolutely the correct answer him to adversity is a poem written by him to adversity is a poem written by him to adversity is a poem written by who's the writer of him to adversity gray okay him to adversity is a work written by gray el migor fabro is the expression used you know expression so when we are looking at el migor fabro is the expression iliot had used for one person what is the name of the person and we actually started the session also by talking about this person trying to talk about what trying to talk about poetry as a kind of an inspired mathematics right So which writer are we talking about? Yes, Ezra Pound is the right answer. So Ezra Pound is absolutely the right answer over here. The figure a poem makes is an essay by. The figure a poem makes. The figure a poem makes. And this is actually, uh, you know, the the last uh, question that we are having. Then I'll quickly introduce you to the topic of the day. Also, the figure a poem makes. The figure a poem makes. The figure a poem makes is an essay written by Robert Frost. Robert Frost, the figure a poem makes. हम लोगों ने आज काफी सारे essays भी किए थे American writers से जैसे Circle, Lobus Soul, American scholar Oliver Wendell Holmes calls it American's Declaration of Independence. Remember? Okay, who is considered as the father of modern short story? This is our number one European writer for today. Number one European writer for today. आज हम दो करेंगे and then we we'll continue tomorrow itself also with the others. So when we're talking about the number one important writer, to give you a hint. He's the writer writing the necklace, right? Necklace again a beautiful story. आप लोगों ने tenth या ninth standard के syllabus में भी करी होगी. Gidi Maupassant is the right answer over here. No, it's not Edgar Allan Poe. Uh, okay, it's okay. Uh, so when we're talking about, okay, we can fine tune this question and say father of modern French uh, stories. कि अगर आप आप देखोगे, so whom are we talking about? We are looking at Gidi Maupassant, right? Again, compared to writers, uh, you know, of great stature in terms of short story, he's a practical practitioner of short story overall that you are able to see he is of french origin to ye hamare aaj ke sabse pehle important writer hai european writer hai and you know the good part about him is that he was actually very successful during his own life uh his stories were well read his stories were well received uh it wasn't that you know he had to die and then after that he acquired fame no during his lifetime itself his stories were well received uh that's very rare for people to actually start a success during their lifestyle itself lifetime itself तो ये चीज आप थोड़ा सा देख पाते हो यस एब्सोल्युटली राइट रवि ही आल्सो फॉट इन द फ्रैंको पोर्शियन वॉर फ्रैंको पोर्शियन वॉर आपको याद होगा लास्ट लेसन आर कौन से दो दैट आल्सो टॉक्स अबाउट इट ठीक है एंड क्लियरली वी वर एबल टू सी दैट ही वाज इंस्पायर्ड बाय वॉर आज भी वी वर टॉकिंग अबाउट वॉर नॉवल्स रिमेंबर लाइक स्लॉडर हाउस फाइव दैट आल्सो इज इंपॉर्टेंट नाउ what you have to keep in mind is <coughs> what you have to keep in mind is that his most famous work uh, is is definitely the necklace right it's what is the necklace uh, story trying to tell you what is it basically trying to tell you it is trying to tell you uh, of course overall also he was trying to bring across the lives of the common people in the french society this is a beautiful story about how this woman is actually invited and she borrows this necklace from her friend then the necklace is lost and she is actually working very hard uh, for years to actually repay the debt and give the necklace back to You know, her friend. Uh, मतलब उन्होंने अपने फ्रेंड से जैसे नेकलेस आपने बोरो करा फिर आपका खो गया तो अब आप अपने फ्रेंड को क्या देंगे तो आपने अपने फ्रेंड को एक एक्सपेंसिव सा नेकलेस वही सिमिलर खरीद के दे दिया और आपकी पूरा का पूरा आपने इतना मेहनत करी जस्ट टू पे द डेट ऑल टूगेदर और बाद में आपकी फ्रेंड बताती है कि वो वाला तो आर्टिफिशियल नेकलेस था जो मैंने तुम्हें सालों पहले दिया था सो दैट इज द स्टोरी ऑफ द नेकलेस ऑल टूगेदर दैट यू आर एबल टू सी राइट एंड इसका समरी आई एम गोइंग टू बी शेयरिंग इट विद यू दिस इज द समरी दैट इज देयर फॉर योर रेफरेंस ऑल्सो दैट हाउ वी आर एबल टू सी दैट यू नो किस तरह से मथिल्डा का जो कैरेक्टर है मुंशी लोसेल का कैरेक्टर है मैडम फ्रोस्टियर का कैरेक्टर है राइट so again you know she wants expensive items to match her set uh, you know her taste all together she was born into a clerk's family and ends up marrying another clerk all together she can't afford the clothing or all always over here her husband is a man of simple 
pleasure, was happy in his life. He loves Matilda. He is loving Matilda. He tries to mitigate her unhappiness by getting her an invitation for a very fancy party. If he is aspirations, bohat sare hain. And this is actually the bone where problems occur. Why? Because you know. She, of course, borrows this necklace from her friend altogether and that really causes a lot of problems overall. So he's the first important European writer that you can actually research a little bit more on uh, the French writer. So again, European writings may have a lot of writers, you short story writers, aate hai, aake novelists. Aate hai. So all of these writers are actually coming in and it's always important for all of you to actually go over them, right? When you cover them, definitely becomes important. James Shringe is another writer. Yeah, so just like Sino Kessie, he is also, you know, a, a, an Irish writer that you're able to see. He was, of course, uh, trying to also help with the uh, Irish revival, literary revival that you were able to look at. Okay? Playboy of the Western world, ke liye jane jate hai. it even caused riots on the streets of Dublin altogether. Uh, so that was, again, another important thing that we were able to look at. Okay? Now, when we are looking at, he first actually had a meeting with William Butler Yeats and Yeats ne ka ki tum aisa kuch describe karo jo Irish culture se Irish land ko describe karta hai and he actually depicted the Aran Islands which were there right uh, so ye cheez aap dekh sakte ho uh, so you know he was he was even trying to tell he was even getting mentored by Yeats that hume authentic voice figure out karni hai of Irish people altogether so please remember J.M. Shrinch the writer who's writing today I'm just briefly introducing you to these writers these European writers of course just to tell you that you know be it an African uh, sorry be it a French writer be it an Irish writer uh, and, and but European literature ko ab non-British literature ke saath ki, ki jega. so British literature ala category ho jati hai European writing mein aapke French writers Spanish writers Irish writers writers jo aapke Russia even Russian writers technically all of these are a part of your European writings ka uh, syllabus that you will have to keep in mind okay so please remember and, uh, and of course you know when, when we are looking at Anton Chekhov Anton Chekhov is also another important writer Writer. Like I said, I just wanted to introduce, uh, you know, these, these writers to you. Uh, so that you have a certain degree of understanding about these writers. Uh, of course, Ajkal, you know, beautifully summed up hai. A lot of times these days, people moonlight, they have a side hustle, jise kaha jata hai, right? Teaching mein to always you had a side hustle, you'll teach in the morning and then you'll also have your own uh, so-called mentoring sessions, uh, right? So many people would teach in the morning. I remember when I was in school, there was a sir, Rabat sir, he would teach us at school and then he had this sprawling tuition business also, right? Right? So, uh, but but here, medicine is my lawful wife and literature is my mistress. When I am tired of one, I spend the night with the other, okay? So, this is how he tried to encapsulate. He is, of course, a Russian writer that you are having, okay? He is, of course, a Russian writer that you are able to see. So, again, Aka uh, Giri Maupassan or J.M. Shrin, John Middleton Shrin, Anton Chekhov. Um, we will also be looking at George Orwell. We'll also be looking at uh, you know uh, there, there is another writer. So yeah, pure ke pure five quick snapshot maybe we'll be looking at. But of course these are important. And Chekhov is also a founder of modern short story that you are able to look at. Okay, uh, so please keep that in mind. And of course he's known for his drama, Seagull, Uncle Vanya, Three Sisters, Cherry Orchard. All of these works he's of course writing. Okay. Uh, okay. Now today I really want all of you to of course cover whatever content we've looked at in the master class which I really want all of you to cover I want all of you to make sure that you are going over master class ka. master class I have given you homework I have 7 questions homework hai. so please do it once again here we have practiced the questions ko practice kiya hai. there are about 30 of them please ensure that you have revised 30 questions ko bhi revise karke if possible like, you know, we looked at questions like provincializing Europe and master class cover all of those right just review everything that you've learned so far and in case that there are any other doubts please do let me know about it okay so just cover all of those things tomorrow of course very exciting uh sessions that are lined up for all of you tomorrow of course after uh when we are talking about the june foundation batch at 8 30 p.m we are starting on with a new unit right there is a fresh unit that will start so a lot of you are having uh questions ki kaise hai, how to start where to start this is going to be complete 
completely late to rest because we will be starting tomorrow with a fresh unit altogether. It is a very interesting unit because it is POCO, it's post-colonial literature that we'll be looking at, right? And we'll of course be digging in deeper into African writers, Caribbean writers, Australian writers. So a lot of these writers are uh, on store for all of us tomorrow, okay? Don't forget to also take your manifestation of 11.11. In case if there are any other doubts, please do keep me posted and please revise everything and come, okay? Thank you so much. Thanks everyone for joining. Uh, thanks Diksha. Thanks Fatima, Ravi, Devishish, uh, Shankar, Ravi. All right. Uh, thanks everyone. So sorry, sorry. Like jo, uh, John Arden, everything. Just keep on please reviewing and revising whatever we've looked at. Okay. Thanks everyone for joining. Take good care of yourselves. I'll catch up with all of you tomorrow. Bye.